Hey Barky, next week is homecoming week from October 22nd to October 26th and these are your spirit dates. Let me tell y'all something. Character day on Monday. Tuesday, Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh. 24th, Wednesday is gender swap. <laughs> October 25th, don't be blue, wear blue. Friday is for a back day. Wear your back days. Good morning, Vikings, and welcome back to Viking View here in Mintz High School. Students, due to there being a 100% chance of rain tomorrow, the homecoming parade has been canceled for this year. Because of various permit requirements and availability of buses, the parade will not be rescheduled. However, our administrators are allowing us to have lunchtime prep rallies during all three lunches tomorrow. We will follow the regular bell schedule, and the burning of the V is tentative depending on rain tomorrow night. A decision will be made at 6.30 p.m. tomorrow for whether or not it will still happen. Thank you so much for being flexible this week. We're really excited to still be able to celebrate the homecoming court during the lunch prep rallies, football game, and dance. And now to the Dave Cave for sports. Good morning, Nimitz Nation. I'm David with sports, and tomorrow, our freshman and JV football team will be going against Louisville. The freshman team will be home, and the B team starts at 5.30, and the A team will start at 7.00. And for our JV team, they'll be at Louisville, and the game will start at 7. Then the next day, our varsity football team will also be going against Louisville, and the game will be at Ellis Stadium on the home side. Also, it's our homecoming game, so go out and support our varsity football team at 7. Also today, our Lady Vikings volleyball team will be going against Hebron. The freshman team will start at 5, and the JV and varsity will start at 6.30. The game will be there at Hebron. Also, and this Thursday is the boys soccer meeting to 4.30 to 5. If you don't attend the meeting, you'll need to talk to Coach Camacho and get cleared before November 16th. Now back to you, Walter. Thanks, David. Attention seniors, if the next step in life for you is to go to a two-year university like Northlake or trade school, you're gonna have to want to assist these two FAFSA or TASFA events. The Nimitz Go Center will have the first session on November 2nd from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. and the other session will be on November 29th. If you cannot make it to either one of those events, feel free to come on down to the Go Center and Ms. Parrish Lies and or one of the other Go Center students will help you fill out your FAFSA or TASFA. You will need to bring your parents or guardian 2017 tax information, so don't forget. And now to Edward's Monster Survival Guide. Morning Vikings, this is Edward here. Today's monster to talk about is the werewolf. Ooh, Don't... what's a werewolf's favorite time of year? It's Halloween! Ooh. Get out! The werewolf is a creature believed to have been a human who has received the bite of a wolf or afflicted with the curse, and when a full moon is present, the transformation begins. A werewolf can be put down by killing it in its human state, thus preventing it from ever turning into the beast. Werewolves are also prone to silver, so now maybe some of those food utensils will see more use. That's all I got for today. Back to you, Walter. Ooh, what's the difference between a werewolf and a vampire? A werewolf isn't bothered by steaks! Ooh. Leave. Thanks, Edward. What's all the news for today, Vikings? I wish you a great Tuesday. Maybe Tyler, can I help you? Of course, we are on our way. Nimitz Helpers, we have a code at 5120. Shop of Pilsen. Peanut Table. First day of practice. Full close. Team, let's go. No job is too small, no challenge is too tough for the Nimitz helpers. Let our team help line your lower skill workers. All work is supervised from start to finish and your vacation is guaranteed. Emma Tracy Jones, college section 5896 or complete form by room manager. Please stand for the pledge. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. 
the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible.